Hello everyone, today I'll be showing a video of uh, several mistakes which I made during the posterior capsular rank management. As you all know that the, for, the, for the cataract surgeon, PCR or the posterior capsular uh, rent is the one of the commonest complication to encounter. And if you take few important things, uh, tips, then definitely you can come out uh, safely without creating much of the problem. This was a routine case and uh, the, I started um, as a routine, I made a good decent size of uh, capsular rexus of around 5.5 mm. Then I did a good uh, hydro dissection and delineation part just to separate the nucleus and the epinuclear plate and the cortical uh, matter from the capsule. Uh, as a routine, I do uh, fragmentation and uh, normally I prefer to do vertical chopping, so I started to my fragmentation part and uh, it was everything was going as per my um, expectation so I did vertical chop and uh, fragmentation and I finished my fragmentation without any um, much of efforts then I rotated the epinuclear plate and with a low vacuum I started aspirate, aspirating the particle Matter. and then suddenly I realized there is a big size vertical tear present on the posterior capsule. So as I realized it, this was my first mistake because suddenly I withdraw, withdrawn my FACO tip. So ideally you should, if you fee, see that any any uh, PC, posterior capsule tear or end, you should uh, try should uh, stay in the chamber and fill the chamber with this elastic so that you will get less of extension of posterior capsular tear and uh, uh, you will create less disturbance in the face this was my second mistake because i entered with uh, ia tip and i started aspirating and this much of uh, aspiration and fluid in the chamber will definitely create extension of the posterior capsular tear and dislodgement of vitreous. So ideally you should prefer to do either a dry aspiration, you can use Simcoe cannula or any cannula for the uh, cortical matter aspiration because that, that will create less of turbulence in the entire chamber and you can easily aspirate the cortical matter. So luckily in this case uh, because vitreous phase was intact so I was able to aspirate uh, the cortical matter, a decent amount of cortical matter and uh, without creating much extension on the posterior capsule tear and without any dislodgement of the posterior capsule then I um, with the blunt tip since key I assist the amount of tear and I um, started evaluating whether I can put the normal scheduled uh, single piece hydrophobic implant in the bag or not then I realized that the amount of tear is um, so big that probably it would not uh, um, be possible to uh, implant the hydrophobic monopho and the single piece hydrophobic implant in the bag. Then I changed the strategy. This is the time where you have to control your nerves. Just be patient and always keep the uh, um, multi-piece hydrophobic implants ready in the chamber in your uh, theater and because uh, it is not recommended to implant the hydrophobic uh, single piece lenses in the sulcus because you know that the hydrophobic lenses are thicker and if you put the implants in the sulcus it will create um, um, it will definitely create problems in the post-ops and uh, the patient will have low grade of uveitis later on because it will rub against the, the back surface of the iris so here i implanted multi-piece eyeway in the sulcus and luckily because there was no dislodgement of uh, vitreous there was no vitreous present in the end chamber so with the gentle aspiration I aspirated the remaining amount of the cortical matter present in the um, bags and uh, I was fortunate to finish 
this case without much of problem but i realized later on i realized that i made several mistakes but but because the god grace i came out without any problems thank you very much for watching